Speed drawing is a technique that forces you to look more closely at the object you are drawing and do a better drawing based on the fact that you have spent significant time looking more closely at it. Remember what I said in the hand drawing class about drawing what you see and not what you think you see? Time to put that into practice. So give yourself one minute to draw a deceptively simple thing. A piece of fruit, a leaf, a chair, and use the time limit to look really closely and get down to the basic information about the object as quickly as you can. Then give yourself five minutes to draw it again, looking more closely, drawing the same thing again. You've already got the basic information in your head from the first scrappy drawing. This is going to be a scrappy drawing too, so I don't want anybody getting too precious about this. It will be rubbish, but that's okay, because what you're doing is learning to look in a more detailed and urgent way, which will help you do a better drawing in the long run. At this point, don't worry about the tones, although you can add some if you have the time. Think about the layout, where everything is, placing it in the composition. A five minute drawing, which is slightly less scrappy than the first, but that's okay, because creating a perfect image is not the point here. Then for the next drawing, give yourself more time. It's up to you how much. I talked last week about working from the right to left when drawing if you're left-handed because it prevents you from smudging the work and ruining what you've done already. And this way you can see what you've done already as you go along. Obviously go vice versa if you're right-handed. It's a technique that becomes automatic the more that you draw. I've used two different pencils for this sketch. It always helps to have a set of good pencils. I don't use anything harder than a 2B for drawing and usually use the 4B or the Black Beauty pencil, which I believe is around a 10B. The softer the pencil is, the easier it is to create tone because of the reduced pressure you have to use. You can also use graphite sticks, which are fun, but they're better for large scale drawings because you can get a bit muddy if you're working on small scale details. So I'm starting to look at the left hand side of the drawing to show you that an eraser can also be a pencil. It makes things less fiddly if you have to block in an area with tone but then erase the lighter parts of your object, rather than spend time working around lighter areas. You can then work back into it and neaten it up. Remember you can always erase things and change things, there's nothing to be scared of. This is an exercise in learning to look. Nobody has to see it. My three drawings aren't particularly good but it doesn't matter. The key to being better at art is to practice. Try different media, see what suits you. Above all, don't be precious about it while you're learning.